This is the prayer offered by Srimati Kunti Maharani, mother of the Pandavas to Lord Shri Krishna in Hastinapur. When Krishna came to Hastinapur to meet Pandavas, he spent some time with all of them. And after some time, he was going back to Dwarka. So when Krishna was going back, everybody was feeling very sad that Krishna is going away. They were feeling extremely disheartened that Krishna is leaving us. He's going away. So and then Kunti Maharani, the mother of the Pandavas, she was offering her prayers to Krishna. And in her prayers, which is being recorded by Vyasadeva in Srimad Bhagavatam, she says this verse very beautifully that what makes us forget Krishna? What can take away your feelings for Krishna? You know, sometimes we know that there is God, but we have no feelings for God. Okay, God is there, so what? I have no feelings for God. What has happened to our feelings? What has taken away our feelings? So Kunti Maharani is giving this. Janmaishwarya Shruta Shri Bhir. See, she gives four criterias. Janma Aishwarya Shruta Shri. Janma means taking birth in a very well-to-do parent's house. And then Aishwarya. Aishwarya means lot of wealth. So much money, so many facilities. Shruta. Shruta means a lot of education. Shruta means knowledge, lot of education. Somebody has got so much education. Degree after degree, you know, so many things. Shri. Shri means beauty. Physical beauty that we all have got. She says these four things can actually make anybody forget God. It can make us forget God. Why? Why do we forget God? Because these things create artificial material satisfaction. Some kind of you feel, why do I need God? Why do I need God? Generally people think, we need God when we are in trouble. When you some problem is there in your life, people go to God. Oh, I, I want God. Otherwise, nobody is interested in God. God is like one uh, sabun. If my hand becomes dirty, now I need sabun. Oh, I want to clean my hand. Means, when, when there is some problem, I will use God to clear the problem. This is, what, this is what mostly people think, why they need God. But they have no idea what is God and why we need God, apart from solving problem. It's like children going to parents only when they need money. Whenever they need money, they remember the parents and call father, call mother and say, can you please give me money? I am in need of some money. So then the parents will say, Okay, only when you need money, you remember and you call us. Other times, you never talk to us. You never spend time with us. You don't even have feelings for us. Some parents, you know, speak like this. You might have heard this. That is because we have turned the parents to you, like use and throw mentality. When I, am, when I, when I want to use you, I'll come to you. Otherwise, I don't even come to you. I don't even remember you. So those people who think that God is also like this. We should go to God only when some problem comes. Generally people keep talking. Baut kuch problems ho hai, you know, life mein. Mandir jana hai. So kab mandir jana hai? Jab problem aayega, tab mandir jana hai. So problem nahi aayega? If, if problems don't come, then why should I go to temple? I don't want to go to temple. Everything is alright. Why should I go to temple? 
so that means god is meant for solving problem this is the this is the prop, this is the understanding but actually what is god meant for shrimad bhagavatam teaches we have a very deep relationship with god like we have relationship with our parents the parents gave us birth if parents were not there you would have not come into existence likewise like parents are source of our existence god is the source of the entire existence the cosmic existence without god nothing would have come into existence aham sarvasya prabhavo mattas sarvam pravartate iti matva bhajante mam buda bhava samanvita krishna says aham sarvasya prabhavah prabhava everything come from me i have created everything god has created everything so we have relationship with god because we have come from the god why don't you go to somebody and tell you are my father and mother because you have not come from that person why you got so much connection with mother because you come from mother there are so many women in this world why don't you go to everybody and say oh you are my mother and i have got so much feeling for you no we don't have such feelings for everybody you have feeling for that person from whom you have come that is why you got relationship that is why you got feelings and emotions so we have come from god we have relationship with god but unfortunately that feelings are not there when you are so small when you are too small baby for everything you'll be calling mother some mosquito is biting you as you are small baby you'll cry at that time mother will come and she will take care of you you are feeling hungry you'll simply cry mother will come and feed you the milk you cannot turn from one side to another side you cry mother will come and lift you turn you aside so when you are helpless for everything you are crying for mother's help now when you grow up now i am able to walk i am able to eat myself i am able to do whatever i want to do so we may forget our relationship so this is material consciousness material consciousness is you remember that person when you are helpless there is nothing wrong remembering when you are in trouble but that should not become the only way to remember that person only when the problem is there i'll remember you so why that happens kunti maharani is saying it is happening because there are four things in our life that can take away your feeling for god they can take away our feelings what is that good birth taking birth in a good parents to good parents janma aishwarya when you are born so much already wealth is there everything is there janma aishwarya shrutah some people think oh i am from phd from uh, harvard i am uh, graduate from oxford or i am from iit or i am from this i am from that so why do i need god i know so much i have got so much knowledge i know how this law of gravity works i know how it happens how this happen how atom uh, things work so i have got so much knowledge i don't need any god so when you see most of the people who don't go to god are those who are educated i mean university educated the real education means you become more and more closer to god this uh, maya vidya there are two types of knowledge one is real knowledge another one is shadow knowledge what are that real knowledge takes you more and more closer to god like the newton said he says more i study this nature i marvel at the creation of the god how amazing god has created it so many scientists another scientist said i see everywhere the signature of the god in the creation einstein said there is a perfect brain behind everything that we see in the nature god is so nice he is so wonderfully created but there is something called shadow knowledge shadow knowledge means it is not the real knowledge but it looks like knowledge and when you get that 
the result of that shadow knowledge is too much of ahankara oh i know so much what is this all god and all these things all you know and such people uh, become so proud and puffed up they think they know too much and they don't care they think that the, i don't have to care for any god now like this you know you see some so called people educated people after all the education what they do they mistreat their parents they ill treat they misbehave they will talk arrogantly and uh, they uh, you know they they will ditch their parents they will say now i don't need you all this behavior comes from shadow knowledge not the real knowledge bhagavad gita says vidya vinaya sampanne brahmane gavihastini vidya knowledge vidya means knowledge if you get the real knowledge its first thing is vinaya vinaya means what humility vinaya means humility not arrogance not ahankara vinayata vinayata means submissive good behavior like you see when in the tree when there is a fruit the fruit bends down not that it start going up the tree bends down with the fruit oh i have got so much fruit so tree becomes uh, egoistic and start you know bending upwards no it actually bends down that is a vinaya vidya vinaya sampanne brahmane gavihastini the brahmana not caste brahmana brahmana means the one who has got real knowledge what he does first of all he has got vinayata means he has got submissiveness second thing is that he has got lot of respect for everybody this is a one symptom of knowledge if you have knowledge it means you now respect everybody that is a symptom of knowledge now you look at the people those who do not respect others those who don't show respect to others because they think that now i am so big now i am so educated oh uh, this is my family members my parents they are not at all educated people so they are very ashamed of them or maybe husband is ashamed of wife wife is ashamed of husband our children are ashamed of parents like this the so called this artificial knowledge makes people become ahankaris arrogant and they think they don't respect they call everyone hey come here hey sit down here you know the way you see how they talk because they think now i am so great man but bhagavad gita says if you have got real knowledge it will be visible in your behavior it is visible in our behavior and what is that behavior behavior of respect that shloka says in bhagavad gita vidya vinaya sampanne brahmane gavihastini the person who has got knowledge he will treat he will treat a dog he will treat a cow he will treat a brahmana everybody with respect because he knows the he has got real knowledge so those who get the real knowledge they become more and more closer to god they become more and more connected to god those who only get material knowledge material knowledge such knowledge with people with material knowledge they go away from the god that's why more and more people are getting material education more and more they are becoming anti god they say i don't accept god i don't care for god i don't bother about god i don't need god this is all the result of shadow knowledge the real knowledge makes you understand how you know the world is complicated and how we are taken care even in our body how every part is working so nicely how uh, important i don't do anything but still digestion system digest my food i don't do anything but still my heart is pumping the blood i don't pay any money to kidney but kidney is still uh, purifying the blood in my body I don't do anything for all those things, but they are doing everything for me. How is it happening on its own? Nothing happens on its own. Those who believe, uh, you know, everything happens by chance. Why do you go home and ask your mother, "What have you made today?" By chance, some food should come in the kitchen, no? 
on on its own something has come you eat that no 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 you will ask your mother or your wife why have you not made anything you believe in big bang theory you believe in by chance theory then you should believe that what you want to eat also should come by chance why you want to go and ask somebody why have you not cooked why should anybody cook everything should come by chance in kitchen you keep all your ingredients now we, after this class we will tell you okay there is a breakfast if by chance if there is a breakfast you go and eat we will not cook because cooking means somebody has to think somebody should have a desire to cook and somebody has to go and actually do the activity called cooking so this creation god is saying i have created but the pseudo knowledge people say no no nobody has created simply it has come by chance so these are such duplicit people they say that this creation can come by chance our brain can come by chance our body can come by chance but your simple breakfast cannot come by chance for that somebody has to work why that cannot come by chance that also can come by chance no why your job cannot come by chance for that why you are studying 15 uh, years in your life that also can come by chance why by chance somebody can credit salary in your account that by chance somebody will put money if they put money you use otherwise you don't use when it comes to your practical life there is no by chance theory but when it comes to creation and all other things then all this bogus theories will come by chance it has come why because we want to discredit the god the god was created was created we want to discredit it we want to tell that there is no god don't care all these things nobody has created it simply it has come by on its own nothing comes by on its own when you read you will understand how atom anoraniyan mahato mahiyan god is saying anu anu means atom i have created the atom i have created the universe under my supervision under my control this this world works मयाध्यक्षेण प्रकृति सूयते स चराचर हेतुना कौंतेय जगत विपरीवर्तते मया अध्यक्षेण प्रकृति दिस प्रकृति दिस नेचर वर्क्स अंडर मै सूपरविजन विथट सूपरविजन नथिंग वर्क्स सो अवर फीलिंग्स फॉर गाड गो अवे वेन वी अक्यूमुलेट ऑल दिस अननेसेसरी थिंग्स इन अवर लाइफ you can simply call somebody there is a difference between calling with feelings and calling without feeling somebody's name you can call somebody if you say oh i love this person and when you love somebody and when you with that love when you call that person that person will immediately respond to you without love if you simply keep calling you know when you are going in the road let's imagine you go you are walking on a road and there are a lot of shopping uh, st- you know on the either side of the road a lot of, lot of vendors are there they are selling some items and all that right so in that scenario they'll all be calling you hello hello come 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 to our place this is a jacket le lo sweater le lo uh, socks le lo shirt le lo like this they'll be calling you so when they're calling you they're calling you only you know that very clearly right they're calling me only but are they calling you with feeling and emotion for you they are calling you but is there any feeling and emotion for you then why are they calling you they are calling for business you know that it is a business call when they are calling you idhar aao idhar aao aaye aaye idhar aaye idhar aaye they dekhiye isn't it you know that they are calling for business like that you can also call krishna 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 govinda like this so krishna knows why you are calling are you calling for some business you want to do some business with me krishna ye dekho problem aa gaya main aapko thoda donation de dunga aur mera problem solve kar ye business ho gaya ye bhakti nahi hai in your home your mother is also calling please come please come and take paratha please come and take this uh, misal pav something like that at that time do you thinking oh mera mummy kuch business karna chahte hai no 
you know that your mother is calling with prema with love pyar se bula rahe aapko wo business nahi hota hai she is not calling you for any business come come eat this and i after that i'll ask you give me some car give me some there is no such business that is why it is loving relationship so same thing kunti maharani is saying when you call god when you call krishna it should not be a business call you call god for some business you should call god call means calling like we were all you know doing kirtan kirtan is called calling god hare krishna hare krishna 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 hare 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 rama hare rama 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 hare hare so when you are calling like that krishna 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 in your heart what's going on is some business going on or some feelings and emotions for god is going on that will decide whether it is a bhakti or whether it is a business so what makes business and what makes bhakti the your real feelings and emotions make it bhakti for that we should have relationship oh krishna with him i have relationship he is he is the one who is taking care of me he is the one who is blessing me he is he because of him i am alive krishna doesn't want anything from us he is not asking you oh you you didn't do anything for me so i will not digest your food in the stomach no whether you become his devotee there are so many people they never come to temple even for them krishna is doing everything for them not just for you you are coming because you love god you want to have loving relationship with god oh you know it's not like some business oh this god is taking care of me that's why let me go to temple no that is business even if you don't come to temple even if you don't come and stand in front of krishna krishna will still do everything for you because krishna loves you i mean krishna loves there is no expectation love means no expectation it is a pure love whether you do anything for me don't do anything for me i will st- i will still love you if you become my devotee don't become my devotee you forget me you remember me i will still take care of you that is real love and krishna is actually uh, exhibiting that real love in sitting in our heart so kunti maharani is saying we should also develop such love but the problem to develop such love is the moment we accumulate this janma aishwarya shruta shribir we should be careful careful because these things can take away our feelings if we are not careful it's not that all those wealthy people rich people they you know they lose their feeling for krishna not necessary like that there are so many wealthy people well to do people they are great devotees of krishna when when you engage what you have in the service let's say for example you earn a lot of money you start going to job and you earn, you earn a lot of money and when you have that money you bring one sari to your mother or something for your father something for your wife or something for your husband or something for your child so that means you are using your money to enhance your relationship out of love not that they are asking nobody ask you in love in real love nobody ask anything from another person they only want to give giving is the symptom of love taking is not the symptom of love taking means uh, people ask now what have you done for me what have you done for me this is business in business only you can ask like this what have you done for me what have you done for me in in loving relationship nobody keeps that kind of an account hisab Uh, what did you do you know sometime when two people fight they start opening the account like that they'll say oh so much i did for you then another person say what have you done you not done anything i have done so much for you this is not the real love till today krishna has never come to you god never comes to you and give give the account you know what all i've done for you in this janma i did this much for you in that janma i did that much for you no no such account this nonsense people will go in front of the god and they say so much i did for you i broke on coconut for you what did you do for me so much i did what did you do for me because we have this business mentality with god god never has any business mentality with us god says you do something don't do anything for me i will still love you 
because that's a real love so janma aishwarya shruta shri when we use our education when we use our wealth when we use our good upbringing when we use our uh, uh, you know beauty or all intelligence and all those things in the service of the god then our feelings for god also get awakened we all have feelings but all those feelings are right now they are in inactive state active state and inactive state like we all know there is a fire in this wood but when i am touching this wood am i feeling any hot heat because the fire right now it is inactive i can make it active by rubbing the two woods then the spark will come then the fire which is there inside can become now visible it becomes active so inactive and active so our love our feelings for god it is there in our heart but currently it is inactive so how to make it active how can it become active so that we can feel so that we can experience so that we can you know demonstrate it that is when you actually do seva service to god and how do our service begins the service begins with our tongue service begins with jihwa do jihwa means tongue all service begins with tongue what is that service begins with tongue tongue can do two things one is it can produce the sound another one is it can eat the food can be used for tasting the food so the two things first one is we have to use our tongue to do seva to god first to seva that you can do to god is calling the names of the god when you call the name of the god that is called kirtana or it is called japa it is actually a seva to the god simply by calling when a child calls mummy papa it gives pleasure to the father and mother more the child calls more the father and mother feel happy you may say why what is this big deal simply the child is calling the name yes the child is calling the name but it gives so much happiness to father and mother like that when you call the name of the god it gives happiness to god because you are a child of god ममईवांश जीवलोके जीवभूत सनातन कृष्ण सेसी भगवदगीता पिताहम अस्य जगतो माता धात पिता महा आम य फादर आम य मदर वेन वी कॉल गॉड्स नेम विथ लव इन अवर हार्ट हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे इट गिवस हैपीनेस टू कृष्ण simply by calling the name of the god second thing is what we can do with our tongue is to accept krishna prasadam eating krishna prasadam simply you are eating but still krishna is happy because by eating krishna prasadam by honoring krishna prasadam your heart becomes clean food has direct connection to our feelings it's a science what food you eat that kind of feelings will come why you have so much love for your mother because you have eaten so much food cooked by your mother the food has got lot of connection to relationship feelings and emotions like that so when you take prasadam krishna prasadam our feelings which are there in our heart they become jagrut or they become active so by chanting hare krishna mantra by taking krishna prasadam our feelings become active and especially by singing and dancing the way we did today in the darshanarathi our feelings which are inactive they start becoming active you know sometimes when there is an accident uh, imagine uh, they put some um, what is that called some bandage and you know your hand uh, uh, is for some to a yeah, plaster or whatever that pop some two months three months your hand will be like that now because for long time your hand is in one position and it is not used now it is not easy to do regular activity so how to bring it back to its regular condition you have to do something called physiotherapy 
they slowly they do some massage and they make you do a small small thing and when you do all those things and then your hand gains its normal thing like that for a very long time we have not used our feelings and emotions for god so our feelings and emotions for god have become inactive anything you don't use for long time it becomes inactive if you don't use your mobile number for long time it becomes inactive then you when you try to call they say your number is inactive now please again activate it recharge it so like that for long long time we have not used our love for god only lust kama there is no prema kama kama means selfishness my happiness my happiness my happiness like that everyone is roaming around only my happiness so when you come to spirituality bhagavad gita when you learn all this yoga you know first thing you learn is it's not only about your happiness that is the symptom of a criminal's thinking every criminal thinks only about his happiness or her happiness that is why there's so much of crime the moment if they're able to think about others happiness then they won't do crime thinking of only my own happiness is actually a criminal mentality a rapist why is called rapist he thinks only about so called his happiness he is not bothered about what will happen to others if i do all these things so only our happiness my happiness my happiness is a very criminal mentality the bhakti bhagavad gita spirituality teaches how to go beyond the selfish mentality how to develop prema not kama kama is simply focused on my own happiness prema is not only my happiness also the happiness of the whole world that is why in our sanatan dharma we say loka sarvajana sukhino bhavatu sarvajana everybody sukhino bhavantu we don't think only we should be happy we think whole world should be happy nobody should be get into trouble this is the noble thought so here kunti marani is saying janmaishwarya shruta shribir edhamana madapuman if you are not careful these things can become mada mada means some kind of an arrogance some kind of an ahankara some kind of a neglectful attitude eh i don't care attitude so that will make you forget god so she says twam akinchana gocharam twam he krishna you are available for whom akinchana gocharam those who do not have this kind of an attitude they don't have this kind of attitude their attitude is whatever i have it is for pleasure of the lord i want to have relationship with the lord my money my education should not take me away from god but it should become closer to god for such people you are available so we should be careful that we should not uh, forget god because we got money we should not forget god because i got some edu- so called education we should not forget god because i am very beautiful we should not forget god because oh i come from a very big background no these things should take us more and more closer to god so with this we'll stop here grantaraj shrimad bhagavatam ki jagat guru shri la prabhupad ki nitai gor premanande hari hari